everyone. My name is Andrei. And there's also the Um, Thank you. 
not a situation. 
Uh, and I wrote this chapter for a them, but it was discussed. And the book is also the first page of the cover of this book, where the evidence against the task of why don't I cover the major in the task. Even by the way, I will say that it was really the city, but only of the kings of the city cluster, and this is the archive schedule. And what the first part of the after of the book of the composition series. And when the task started to be reviewed, it's like the series starts to learn the same amount of material as the previous task. And in that case, And, um, and I was following that uh, with the city on the left, right, right, so the funding on the left is a really good story. And I'm playing the very well. Curious, like, do you, uh, do you have a regression for the kernel compile time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, that was not the point. <laughs> no, no. Thank you. 
And uh, yeah, that, that's how we So on the I'm going to side. Um, so, because the core is made of the and the And Back to sure. So is the map type ring buff, is that per CPU, is that a per CPU ring buffer or is that? Multiple producers and one person. And one person. So, what if, like, uh, what if more than one CPU uh, wants something to run? How do they? How do they call? How do they schedule user space? There's only one user space. So, so what happens at that time? Like, Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, but but uh, I think if it's single threaded and multiple CPUs have work to do, yeah. only one of them will run the user space part, <laughs> and then all those other CPUs they they're just going to go to sleep, right? <laughs> Whereas, and then finally uh, they have to wake up again, right, to to run something. Yeah. Say there were a lot of threads that woke up, so you have this like they go to sleep. And they're waiting for the, some other CPU to run this user space thing, and then they have to wake up again later. I don't know. Like there yeah. might be. Some more. Yeah. 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 I think based on my understanding, SCADI XP in kernel part will be able to do the basic thing. We don't need always go to this. So the, the very fast decision is made by the internal SCADI. And the, the BPF side will make a more complicated decision. But the first, what, exactly what to run next, you have to run here, that's the next one. But the BPF uh, or user space will help you starting with the next or move things around. And the longer latency, the faster one is under the internal. So we don't always need the space of the BPF to make decisions. This particular implementation, every decision was being asked at this point. Everything goes to So we have multiple levels with different and only a few tasks remain. Ten, only a few tasks remaining. So now, if you don't move to the space, so otherwise, the thing very normal task. I mean, I still want to do this way. And uh, now everything is just to do this way. And then I create another case that is in, in the same other way. That is in the same other way. That is in the same other way. It's not a particular problem. It's implemented. The point is really very simple. Just to be like uh, like specific, uh, uh, like I, I know everything is going to user space, but once user space says like run 
run these five things on the same CPU, then after that, the kernel is going to switch between them, right? Like after their slices expire. There's no, yeah, there's no BPF or user space involved. No, you no, you wouldn't because you would have already dispatched them once you consumed the ring buffer. Also, I'm not being Oh, okay. So, and every time it. Okay. Then go back to the ring
I mean, if you could think to be able to take the dance to the city, it's beautiful to um, help and lower the barrier of the so what I one of the things I get to have is to get the digital drive of the things in the run is so for example you have a big force uh you are in danger because Uh, yeah, yeah, we were talking about some ways to fix this. Uh, one is like I have the caterers scheduled by uh, Skerex to uh, the, the core itself. Uh, have, the, have the caterers scheduled by the core itself. But, um, an another way could be like just un like if the user space schedule a block uh, and uh, some other caterer needs to run, then just unconditionally run it right away. Yeah, I one of the old pieces. And it all went down. I was like, well, you know what? You had a case, just put the yes, and then they did this thing. That's the best idea. The problem is if you have like an encrypted form uh, and you have a key worker, if you basically enter a genuine like case, it can basically monopolize the user because it is not good for the case. Because it's just too easy to put so it stays there, but it's not it's like a start to do something very generic that uses all the CPU. Uh, another thing could be like, you know, instead of saying, okay, maybe try to integrate that side. So you can put it in between like separate and separate and wrap them. You can just do something so easy that if you are inside. Just to fix the single user space, that's when you have to let the UI have um, memory based partition to send something to the intermediate single user space. That's something that would fix it if you like the case if you're inside. Uh, otherwise, like uh, maybe if the user space scheduler is blocked, then do something very rudimentary like round robin just to give it like a little bit of fairness. Oh. Until the user space scheduler is unlocked or something. Yeah, the problem with that is that the task is already the same, so you have to watch them. Right? Oh, those are blocked, yeah. yeah. So you need to connect back to first, and then switch first. So yeah. I think that's when you're left, okay, now it says I'm blocked in a new task user space. Yeah, it's kind of difficult. And I'm mean, using this in my sketcher in my last day, but <laughs> and it um it goes away when you just work with it and I suspect that when I put it in standard tool, it's so uh presuming but I guess this is what it has to because of that. So or um you can have the this user space scheduler in a higher class like maybe headline server. Would that be yeah. 
work in that that i didn't understand that part There's a comment from the chat group from Len Brown. Say we free the user space as part of the suspension. Yeah, exactly. When the when the Yeah, forgive me if this is a stupid question. I don't know much about schedules, uh, but what are the security implications of running uh, sensitive tasks such as scheduling in the user land? Like, like I understand with Rust is comparatively safer, comparatively being the keyword. But if, especially uh, like even with Rust, some people may use third-party libraries, and they are not necessarily secure as such. So. Okay. Not the master, um, total amount of runtime so it was useful to implement some scheduling policy. Uh, and if you want to tell what I can try, I think it can actually set the memory of the is really good. It's a method thing. info and so no memory if you can find a way to the worst thing to do is to any other million ways in the uh, Can you comment on any like uh, techniques you use to like debug this stuff? Like when something goes wrong, obviously to put prints and all that, but is there anything like you do that? Not on CPU. So, 
when I try to install from the core, want to actually just turn a warning. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and I think, oh, that's the for example, because it can't drop the Yeah, but, but the kernel should yell in the in the message also. Also yell in the message. Something that can be improved. So the kernel yell in the message, and this was a story. That is all the rules of the action that can be output on the get cells that is the user space uh, process. Okay. But in it, everything in system Kind of but then you have to schedule the profiling tools so you yeah. can be debugging everything that I let actually schedule by yeah so <laughs> that's what I was wondering how that works. I think we should add more trace points in the kernel part of this, at, at least for people who are developing their own scheduler, like BTF schedulers, but they want to see what is going on inside. inside right? Yeah. Yeah. And maybe having Thanks for last speaker and thanks everyone for joining LPC. Hope you had fun and uh, we'll see you at the dinner party. <laughs> <laughs>